thank you again for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to our amazing moderators, Michelle Treese and Brittany Butler. Hey folks. Hi, how's everyone? Good, good, good. Hope you've had a good one. So we've got some uh, really special, cool people today. I'm excited. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to talk. I think these That's guys fine. are just gonna take the, <laughs> take the show and run. It's That's gonna be fine fabulous. Too. It's gonna be fabulous. So. We always start up with you guys introducing yourself. So who wants to go first? You go first. Oh, there you okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. Ren Allen. Um, I've lived in the Tri-Cities region, specifically Jonesboro, for 16 years. And I'm originally from Alaska. I do my makeup artist and body painter full time. And that's what I do. I, I'm glad you kept yours quick. <laughs> yeah, well, I got to give you some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jason Flack, uh, local artist from Johnson City, born and raised. Uh, very busy person. My first 15 minutes. <laughs> there you go. So, Ren, how in the world did you get to Johnson City? I flew, and wow, my arm's tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, through a dart at a mount, kind of. No, I, I moved to the Northwest, met my now ex. We had children, moved to Florida, then decided we really missed the mountains, but didn't want to go back to the Northwest, which some days I question, um, but wanted mountains, wanted, you know, agricultural life. And this seemed to fit all of the check marks. And I came to the storytelling festival, which yeah. kind of sealed the deal. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love it. So how long were you in Alaska? Uh, born and raised. So I was there until I was 18. Oh, yeah. What was that like? Um, well, you know, as a kid growing up, it's like it's your boring. life, yeah. you know, you don't know like <laughs> where you grow up yeah. is familiar and normal. And you think everybody sees, um, you know, orcas out in the ocean and bald eagles and that, you, you know, this, everybody does that. Right. Mm. And glaciers and mountains and all of that. But, um, I started learning at a fairly young age, like we would travel to the lower, what we call the lower 48 and kids that I met would be like, do you live in an igloo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you, you know, really right, just very in the seventies and eighties, there was just not as much mm -hmm. understanding of Alaska. It was sort of this alien faraway place. And so I found myself explaining that, no, it wasn't dark for six months. And then like, oh no, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's not a thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> if you're up at Prudhoe Bay, the sun sets for a while. Yeah. And it doesn't come back up. But, you know, it's a big, big state and there's a lot of different mm -hmm. um, ecology. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I had to explain yeah. a lot of things and then I realized not everyone's experience was mine. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I got to go to Alaska in 93. Oh, nice. And I was in, I went to Anchorage and I went with a friend of mine and her roommate in college lived in Anchorage. Nice. So we were there for like 10 days, stayed at her place on so no hotel, mm -hmm. we borrowed it. They had an extra car, borrowed a car. And, and it was one of those um, sunset, oh gosh, nine o'clock ish. No, let me back up. So you the were sun, there. We were in June. It was June, July, oh, so July. The in sun Anchorage at that time, early, early. it sets and gets twilight and then comes back up not very long. Yeah. After that. Wow. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it was that thing of like, I think it was like, it may have been like 10, nine or 10. That it was like, do we turn out? It was in between or twilight. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We turn on our lights. Okay. In Fairbanks, it, it doesn't, it's after midnight before the sun sets. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the sun's like bright and still in the sky at midnight yeah which is why we call it the midnight sun and all that yeah so i mean that was really really super cool i'm glad you got to experience yeah that. super cool and temperature yeah. was warm 70s oh, good. Good. so again i would be that kid saying isn't it cold all the time yes no yes <laughs> you know polar bears everywhere polar bears and <laughs> yeah but it was really nice it was good really i'm nice. glad you experienced That's it cool. it's a beautiful state so cool. So jason how would you describe your upbringing here in johnson city uh very mixed Right. Like, so I grew up on the very corner of East Tennessee, Mountain City, but also here in Kingsport. Mm. So it's, those are contrasting evolutions there. Right. And I've got everything in my family is from like, like literal bootleggers, hillbillies, even I guess it's not derogatory, rednecks, hustlers, street dudes, musicians, artists. It's mm. all that, you know, so like before all the diversity talk, that was that was me 
at the very you beginning, 30 me. years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we didn't know any better, no any different. You know, my first job, I, I'm now can say this because I'm close to 40. It's like my first job was cut tobacco. Right. Wow. Like so my, my son wouldn't know anything about that. Mm-hmm. He can barely cut the grass. Right. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so we I remember catching tugs, uh, toads and then like uh and we worked with these this these Mexican and Honduran men, they're the hardest people, hardest work people mm-hmm. ever seen. Mm-hmm. And that the farmer would pay us four hundred dollars a summer. But it was mm-hmm. worth it was worth it because we worked our butts off. We just buy parts for go-karts and all that. And all that. <laughs> but but um, no, very mixed. I mean, I, I grew up in a mixed household. My mother's white, my father's black. Um, he grew up in a um in Kingsport where he was kind of like the light-skinned dude. So mm. he and I he's like my guide because I'm the same thing. I grew up among black people. Um, and then of course, um, my mother's side, um uh real real barefoot hillbilly people. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you, when you see those like um, uh, uh, straw hat, corn pot like that, you know what mm. I mean. So what a, what a, wow. what a you know what a like a unique situation there. You know, I grew up uh, going to black churches and all that, and uh, and early on I remember thinking uh, ha- having thoughts of feeling like the color gray. Mm. Like my family never made me feel it, but I mm. I suffered from that. I, I feel like I I felt. Like I never fit in, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, my twin sister, uh, she was she was somebody I could relate to. Obviously, she's the girl version of me. So when she was around, you know, she she's passed on now. But when she was there, I was cool. Like I was like, all right, she she'll speak for me. We represent each other, and uh, uh, but I always felt like there's there's a uh, there's, and I tell people, I tell a lot of uh, folks, it's not always uh, white white folks. It's um it's anybody. But mm-hmm. like, go to a black church and hear them sing. Like if everyone would feel, feel that you have a soul, go listen to them sing, right? Mm-hmm. Then I would I would get out of focus on my knees bouncing and and you know Sunday school or after and during the service and I look and there's a there's a Jesus that looks like you know Jared Leto or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that would mess with me. And I go to mm-hmm. mega these mega churches where they're like rocking out, right? And they don't mention any brown parts of the Bible. So that messes with you when you're a half. Mm-hmm. You have you have slave blood and you all also have slave owner blood in you so it meant that that was early on experience for mm. me to feel like this weird guilt you know i get hit harder in basketball because i was considered mm-hmm. not tough you know what, what age I mean? but then, would you yeah. say but then what? but then you get the girls that had the good hair oh, so gosh. you know you can, can speak well <laughs> you know you know you get yeah. what i'm saying so i totally a, hear you it's a yeah. weird it's a it's it's amazing you know what i mean it's but it's to look back on it because now yeah. I, i'm i'm cool you know, it's taken a long time to get mm-hmm. into it's it's getting to through that struggle and well, again, I, i've got a new purpose like i you don't hear from me unless it's art yeah art gave me a new purpose to restart mm-hmm. so you won't hear from me i, I got a family raised. I, I got grass to, to mow not mm-hmm. tobacco anymore but you get what i mean like yeah like um uh jumping into the public with with my art entering the public realm gave me like uh it didn't just it did give me but it, it was just it was waiting for the tender it was waiting to burn i didn't know it because I, I felt like I was in a dark place and, um, you know, uh, have your sister suddenly pass away, your twin sister, and then have your, have your, uh, uh, a street dude, he's like a brother of mine. I was always like the nerdy guy. You know, I can, I could, uh, talk Star Wars with these people over here and I could talk about nature over here and I could talk about hip hop over here. And, uh, I won't mention his name, but he's a street guy, man. And he always kept me away from stuff. But he was, he was a good friend of mine, goes to prison, gets sentenced to prison. I watched that. That's a different type of death. My sister died just instantly. They say, um, uh, you know that trope in movies where they're like, uh, uh, yeah, and our family was never the same once mm. so-and-so passed. And it's it's like, that's for real. Yeah. That's for real. It's you're you're never the same, and the people around you are never the same. So so and such a great person my sister was. And I don't think I'm that bad too. But now I have the the energy of two though. Yeah. That's why I can't sit still. I can't I have to do this stuff. It's a it's a I take it so serious. Mm. Not not myself so serious. I think that's we're kind of getting to that society mm-hmm. right now. We uh, but that's that's a whole other thing. But I'm talking about uh being more present and aware of time and wasting time. I don't, I take that very serious. Um so when I have opportunity to speak, you you all get all of me. Mm. You get all of me because I have the energy to do so. And I have little eyes watching. Uh, eight-year-old me did not have uh, an accessible uh, group of artists. We, we between Ren and myself, we we know them, and they say the same stuff. And they've all listened, suffered uh, with me <laughs> tossing them into some type of submission verbally. But uh, but but I mean it though. And um, 
I'm going to say inspiring. So. I, I'll let you say it. <laughs> so I, I, and I'll take it. But but I, I just know that um, I've had 30 plus years of, um, and that's just trying to be thoughtful, working on being thoughtful because I cared. I didn't care for myself mm-hmm. for so long. With, with my sister gone, you have to go, okay, I have to start caring. Yeah. I have to start having some value. And I never was a knucklehead. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, saying under the under the cover, under the skin, I didn't really value myself at all. And that's rotten. Then, then it wasn't instant. My sister died in 2010, May 7th on a Friday, approximately maybe 2 a.m. I'll never forget that, right? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't instant. It was 2010, maybe late, late 2010, 2011. All of a sudden, I just, I just didn't want to waste time. Mm. I had to have something to do. Mm-hmm. So I started challenging myself. I rode my bike to work every, almost every day. I put 3,000 miles on a bicycle. That's true. That's all true. That's all. This is, wow. I had to challenge myself. I had wow. to feel. Because you know what it's like when you got a soldier and they lose a limb or somebody that has an mm-hmm. um, unfortunate health crisis, right? They lose a limb. And they go, I reached down and scratched this. And mm-hmm. It wasn't there. And I'm itching. That's my soul. Yeah. So why would I sit around and just uh, sit in this darkness and, and reach for this thing that's no longer here? I have to face that. I have to face that actually every day. Uh, so I'm sad. But you know what I got good at? Put it in the fire. Let's go. I don't, I don't notice I didn't say hide it or mm-hmm. deny it. Right. Because the men in my family have denied things. This is conversations I have with this stuff. My parents know I talk like this. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about don't deny that thing. Use it as fuel. Let's go. I was going to say fuel. Fuel it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rinse, rinse. You both have seen me act up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call you out if you say you do something for art and you don't. I, I, don't, I take it serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll be yeah. kind. You're a little bit of a lightning rod, I like to say, I'm, but in the, in the best way. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. And, and, yeah. But I, in my mind, I'm like a little bit of like R. Crumb, but then Muhammad Ali turns on. That's the girl. <laughs> you know, and, and it's, it's not an act, though. Like, I, I'm yeah. an introvert, but I'd rather just crawl somewhere and hide. I, this makes me nervous. But I'm, yeah. again, what I got good at is I'm nervous. I, now that becomes enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But you have to, especially when you don't want to be here no more after yeah. someone mm-hmm. else is gone. Mm-hmm. So, but I realized... I do, do want to be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and I've and got, stuff, got to stuff to do. I've yeah. got I, stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. I've got stuff we're to all do. really yeah. glad. Oh, because, yeah. And we're really glad you're here you. near us mm-hmm. with stuff to do. I don't do anything by myself. I did feel by myself. Um, and people have to feel me on that. Like when you lose your twin, no one, but my mom, my dad, they matter, but you get what sure. I mean. No, it, yeah. Like, who are you? There's yeah. Right. no other. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. It's, a, it's a live wire still plugged to the wall. It's just mm. like this. Yeah. Still right. looking for the bond, right? Right. You have to go with it. You, yeah. And then you have to do something about it. And my doing something about it was not be destructive because we have caricatures mm-hmm. that um in uh in the black community especially that are uh okay for society. Mm-hmm. Um they'll look at us and say that's a okay to look like that and, and people will buy the records, they'll do this and they won't support local yeah. art. They'll be okay mm-hmm. with a a caricature of somebody on TV, but not okay with you making art locally right here. Yeah. Or, or in your surrounding area. And then you looked at uh, funny, but they don't understand that in the outcast shadow is where I, where I've become confident. And in, in, in isolation, I learned like none of that matters with what, what you think. I'll make you think different or you can turn your head. Right. There's power in ignorance too. That's another thing in society too. Is like, we should be getting a little bit better if you want like this. Like don't, this generation now talks about like acknowledging haters. Why? Mm-hmm. Don't yeah, give them the attention, energy. the attention, yeah. and then it used to be called what was it? Don't, uh, I, I guess that was right. Don't don't give them what they want. They used to be what it, those old phrases. Those mm-hmm. that's what it is. Like if a guy is just poking, 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 that's one thing. You say quit poking to me, right? But social media, man, or 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 whatever, some verbal, whatever. Right. I'm not talking about taking right. no mess because I grew up with that way too. Don't take no mess, but also grew up. Don't let them see you sweat. Yeah. I don't yeah. acknowledge it if you ain't. If you're not doing anything, first of all, period, period, right? If you're mm. not doing anything, what are you talking about? I have spent a lot of time trying to trying to be something here for my town. And my mm-hmm. town didn't see me eye to eye, which which I fell in love with John City. I felt back in love, I'd say, mm-hmm. uh, with John City because she and I had identity crisis. Mm-hmm. I've never been not Jessica and Jason. I was just Jason now. And John City's never not took from the Vils, the Nash, Knox, and Ashfields. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'll give to you if you give to me. Yeah, and I still say that. I was going to ask you kind of how the relationship with this region and some of that push, maybe that friction, you know, how that affected your journey as an artist. Well, at first, I became I, 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 art was a, a 
therapy, right? Like art is, it started out just like, like I said, like something to do. Um, I neglected art. I was always like the, the school artist or the class artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, that made me really cool, like feel real special. Uh, the quiet kid that gets the draw for like Abby Mooka, the hot girl in class. Or like, <laughs> you know, she finally, I relate to that. Can you draw George Walker? I'm like, sure. Listen, yeah. is this a real person? I'm yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know the name. I'm going to say some names, but I'll try to be. I'll, she, she was my teacher. Um, but uh, but <laughs> I'll try to be, I'll be careful. Because um, uh, I am local. I know. Um, but, uh, but no, I, like John City Shaking, because I grew up too, uh, and Miss Reese will know this too. I'm sure she's heard this stuff. Um, in, in the hallways and in classrooms, but um, like my, it may not be like my class or my generation, but you're told like to leave here, mm. you know, get out of here. Get, and I, that always offended me because it, and then it was followed by or, or in whatever order it was always like, cause there's nothing to do here. And it's like, like, I don't know. I grew up with a lot to do. I grew up like lo- just in love with nature. I was always, yeah. I, in, in that, in a, and this is an era thing, not error or era thing where I used to be five years old and I used to follow ants into the woods and, I, and come back with turtles and snakes. And my, yeah. dad, my mom and dad were so dope. They would like, I, let's see all these animals. And they'd go, <laughs> okay, let's get the, let's okay. get the aquariums. Let's, let's go to the the There was no PetSmart back then. There was no <laughs> Amazon or whatever. But, but they were just so, like my room was like a library and I didn't know what I was even doing, but I, it was just living a boy's mm. life or, yeah. you know, an 80s and 90s kid's life. Mm. I didn't know any different. So I he had, had some parallels, even though I grew up way up yeah. in Alaska, because I was also that kid yeah. just out in nature, mm-hmm. building forts, um, you watching birds. You don't know it, but you're yeah. you're you're adopting the pace of nature. Nature's yeah. patient; it doesn't ask for anything; it just no. does. Yeah, I didn't know that. And now you can I know. Exist you there. can exist. It felt safe, and it yeah. felt like yeah. for a nerdy kid. So I grew up in a very cultist religion. Um, I grew up in a mixed race family. Oh. Um, completely different experience with sure. the same words yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. completely different because um there's three of us that are caucasian <laughs> we look very white and there's three that are um first peoples mm. uh, and these are your siblings Alaska, and these are my siblings and so um yeah three of us are biological three are adopted and mm-hmm. it's um alaska is a very different place mm-hmm. as you know um it's hard to describe yeah but um yeah nature outdoors yeah. and so, so i relate to a lot of what you're saying even though our experience sure. were vastly mm-hmm. different yeah, yeah. and art was my escape because i was a super nerdy kid because we were in a cult i wasn't allowed to wear makeup we had to have long hair we wore dresses which mm-hmm. was not in style in the 70s and 80s by the way yeah. um so we stood out like sore thumbs in not a good way and that's really a lot for a kid to carry you know and i was very much needing to fit in somewhere and art was also yeah, no doubt. Yeah. like I got kind of you're kind of an art club sure. and all that yeah, you're yeah. kind of like the other kids think that's cool but you're also a nerd at the same sure. time so they don't really know Before what to do nerd with was you cool, right yeah. like nerd exactly. is cool now you can everybody yeah. you see a uh, wearing like a Wolverine or Spider-Man t-shirt like yeah we used to get harassed by the bigger older kids right. in comic books you know what I mean like, oh totally you know I guess that's the movies, you know, <laughs> made it more mainstream. More, yeah, like we used to have to hide our comics and all that. Like teachers used sure. to say, that's lowbrow. Like, yeah, I remember my mom, like that comic books and trading cards. I still have all those, by the I way. Love it. Um, but like even my mother, I mean, uh, she she look at comics as not reading material. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, but now you they give kids comics. Right. I know. My mom bought comic books. Well, they you realize really that you, that you, hey, you memorize hey, graphic, them. graphic novels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Graphic Excuse novels. Well, it, just, it just depends on what nerd. <laughs> you're in, yeah. they, say that they don't say graphic novels. Yeah. Get that out of here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it depends on what's prestige and some, whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 The guy, the thing with the comics is what I'm. The characters right there. Yeah. yeah. Laser beams and calls. Well, and yeah. D&D right. was sort of like. Yeah. Oh gosh. It was super popular with teeny tiny percentages of kids it's yeah. very underground and kind of yeah, yeah frowned upon too. that was you know mm-hmm. yeah oh, weird funny. nerdy stuff yeah right. so ren you mentioned not being able to wear <laughs> makeup to now full time oh, no, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. can you explain it? so were you always drawn to like art and I was things always like that drawn to i figured it out as an adult mm-hmm. that i like to embellish things mm. I just, you know, I don't look at somebody's face and think they're not beautiful when they don't have a stitch of makeup on. I don't look at nature and think that it's not beautiful the way it is, but I always want to add something. Mm -hmm. something. I want to embellish things and it's just an urge. I think that's the underlying urge 
to like everything I do in life. I just want to embellish it a little bit. I just want to put just some make shine it a on little it. bit nice. Make it just just add something to it. It doesn't mean yeah mm-hmm. necessarily prettier because there's different right. ways to perceive. That. And you hear a lot of that on social media mm-hmm. to yeah. someone wearing too much makeup, not or enough not, makeup. And we're judged for all of it, right? So, you know, so I love that. Like, Everything yeah. is an overanalyzed this and yeah. that, man. Yeah, let people love My what they goodness, love. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. if you're wearing nothing, yeah. I applaud you. If you're wearing, <laughs> you know, three inches, I applaud right. you. Whatever makes you happy. They used to say live and let live. Yeah. You know? right. Exactly. Right. It's broken down to simplicity. It's all it really we just is. we just do this to everything. Like just everything has to be yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make yeah. And that's something mm-hmm. that, Not like you said, social media kind of, you know, puts everything True. under a little bit. Microscope. Of, yeah. Magnifying. Exactly. Yeah, whatever. And it's yeah. like. Okay. Not always for the bad, but, but right. sometimes it when it's bad, it's, it, it burns stuff down. There's a lot sure. of judgment and discussion about things that really, like, yeah. it doesn't affect you or it's not yeah, making yeah. the world a worse place. Right, right. It's like, but it's like power there. and money, though. The social media just enhances the inner. Yeah. Like, for you know real. what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're yeah. rotten, you got some money, you're rotten with money. Yeah. You know, if you're rotten with power, you're just going to be rotten with power. Yeah. If you're rotten in your bedroom yelling at your mom and dad, you're going to be rotten on the online. You know? <laughs> yeah, true. Wow. Huh. Well, it seems like both of you guys, like you said, uh, very similar experiences, but very different experiences. Right. And so both of you mentioned that your parents sounded like they kind of supported you in nature going out there, coming home with all the animals and, and you in the woods. And I didn't quite have the support I was going to say. Oh, no. you, how was oh, your... They were very supportive. Uh, well, I mean, they took, they're the first ones who took me out into nature. So we had a cabin down in the Prince William Sound um, that our family went out to every summer and it was completely off grid, only accessible by boat. It was, you know, nature times a hundred, you know, yeah. and that's where, I mean, we had porpoise swim around the boat. We went fishing <laughs> You know, I was taught to be connected to mm-hmm. my surroundings in a very real way and to have respect for it. You know, we used rainwater and mm-hmm. we, we used what was available in many ways. And um, that land was given back to Native tribes, a Native tribe, in the Native Land Claims Act. If anyone mm. wants to look up the Alaska Native Land Claims Act, it was a lot of federal land that was returned to Native tribes. And mm-hmm. it didn't go far enough, but they did something, something. Mm-hmm. which you can't, I mean, we have not paid reparations to Native people, Black people. We have done nothing as a nation, really, mm. except perpetuate harm in so many ways. Um, so Alaska did something, um, and you can, there's a lot of complex history mm-hmm. there. You can research it. There's documentaries on this, how it happened. Um, anyway, that part of that land that we had been using went to the tribe that is in Tetlik, and my grandfather negotiated with them every however many years to lease that land from them. So our family leased land okay. from um, the tribe and in Tetlik. And if you want to look up to Tetlik, Alaska, it is a beautiful town just nestled in the mountains on the water, only accessible by boat. Yeah. It is on yeah. the mainland, but you like can, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. And I remember as a kid, um, one time we, we, we didn't interact with the tribe a lot because they, don't really want mm-hmm. us to bother them, you know. Um, but they had a relationship with my grandfather who negotiated the lease. And I cannot remember why we went there one time, but I remember all the like these kids in the village just surrounding us and following us up the street because they didn't have a lot of yeah. outsiders that weren't there for, you know, a distinct take. purpose, yeah. like, you know, yeah. fishing mm-hmm. or something very practical. Mm-hmm. So it was, that was probably late 70s early 80s Mm. do you still have that land your family so that land is no longer leased by my family um so it belonged to the tribe all this time and um i don't believe anything's being done with it but it's it's used you know they hunt there some i believe um there's deer that have swam out to it but the cabin is still there from what i understand but we had to abandon it you were talking about death um, completely changing the structure of a family and who you are individually and as a group. And I've had, we've had several deaths in the family and our family doesn't look mm. 
structurally oh anything like it did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but my grandfather was the called? glue for that. Shot up. Mm-hmm. Oh, all shot up. It's spread out yeah. and it's crazy. And uh, he was the glue for that mm-hmm. part of our lives. Mm-hmm. And he's gone now. And there was none of there were none of us that could handle the yeah, responsibility sure. and the cost involved. And anyway, well, I'm glad so. it's not logged. I know how logging is. Yeah. Up there. So when you were oh, and they're beautiful like, giant trees. Yeah. 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 No, I don't think the tribe would allow that. Yeah, good. Right. Um, they're definitely very protective good. of the environment and the land. And, I'm glad for your answer. Yeah. I just hope she. I always went yeah. to a logging con. Yeah, I would. I would cry because they are. It is an old growth forest, and mm-hmm. that is a rainforest yeah. part of the world. Yeah. So it's just, I mean, in the forest, the moss is like, right. you know, oh, wow. like and, you step and, on it, it's just like a stuff sponge. has trouble regrowing. That's what you're saying. It's you yeah. take it, it's going. I don't it know, would do so much same. damage. Yeah. It would be heart wrenching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, that's pretty amazing. It's very wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put it that way. That's yeah. A good thing. yeah. 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 So not that I'm interested, but what are y'all's favorite nature spots like around here? here? You know so I'm not much just, of a oh, hiker. Man. Okay, Pro- probably. <laughs> <my backyard. laughs> probably right. Like, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably like um just just uh like beauty spot, Red Fork Falls. Um, mm. I mean even Buffalo, uh, yeah. Clark's Creek, Steels Creek. Where's Clark's Creek? Clark's Creek's just uh that's Chucky. Uh, that's Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. we used to go up there yeah. with the kids. That's where I Face face my first bear and cubs right there. Oh wow! Yeah, no doubt she she didn't mind, but I you know you, you grow up almost knowing like like Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny. You know that <laughs> mama and bear mm-hmm. cubs that's dangerous. All yeah. I did was beat. Well, it was, it was my friend. He beat the horn. She just looked and she well, let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. And we had our little dogs with us, and they're you know he's, what are they gonna do? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's a burrito. To them. That's a burrito. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But but that, but, uh, but in your nature, as much as I have been recently, I haven't been. I've just been so busy. But um, but we've seen. I mean, I've seen mountain men. Men with algae in their beard, mm. straight up. Wow. Yeah, no, straight up. Like serious mountain. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, like uh, the people. I knew some people that used to leave food out, um, and it's 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 pretty reckless to do that in the woods. Right. Not, now bear. you've got bear, you're, the biggest one's bear, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you're uh, close to the city, you might get coyotes, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but. The person told me we caught up to him. We used to go camping and stuff all, all the time. Uh, Elizabeth and Hampton and all that. And they were like, "No, we leave it out." As a man, mm. we know it's in this woods, and he'll come and eat this stuff. Kind of and, uh, Yeah, we used, we used to go off the path path and make switchbacks and like just <laughs> it's dangerous to do. You should you should not unless you're a professional. I cannot wait. But we just because we we would go. I, I mean, just this past uh, like two months ago, I go we go frogging, and we don't we don't hurt anything or whatever. But we cap we capture animals and look at them, take pictures. Let them go. Temporary it's, pets. Yeah. That, well, that's how you know an ecosystem is healthy. The animals right. are still living and thriving. It's, it's, yep. We don't ruin anything. Yeah. We, we put rocks back where they are, but it's just yeah. fun. It's just, and, and I think it's, uh, you know, it's a de-stressor naturally, right? Right. And, uh, uh, but yeah, but, um, we were, we, we were climbing a log and I think we were looking for, um, there's a salamander called, uh, uh, I think it's either, it's either red spotted or spotted red, whatever. And then there's a tiger. Tiger salamander is one of the most beautiful dumpy <laughs> animals ever. Do I know these? It's, no. It's, it's <laughs> a little, you have to look it up. A, a tiger salamander. It's, and it's from here. It's an yeah. Appalachian salamander. It's a little fat yeah. thing. It's got a little little bunch of chins and stuff. It's fun. Yeah. But yeah. we were looking for, I knew that's a wet uh, fallen tree or something inside that bark is where you can find some, right? And we heard some crackling in the woods. We, like, we thought, man, there's some hikers. We didn't know. We, you get quiet at first. You're like, it's, in the daylight, it's still, you can't see. You can, we just yeah. hear, <laughs> And it was a big old mountain man, and he had a big old beard. Mm. He didn't say a word. It. He just looked at us. He stared us down. He, not threatening, but just right. kind of like, what are y'all doing? Who are you? Why Probably are you looking here? at us like, you're not going to do anything to From me. From these parts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well he, he just looked like, you, you're probably not going to snitch on me for hunting, hitting out here, right. surviving. And, he's and probably he also, out there hunting ginseng. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pro- probably. So that's what we said, too. But uh, but he's probably mm. looking like, he's just little boys out here, you know. But I'm sure that that somebody might tell on him or something. I'm sure he's hunting ginseng. He's probably right. hunting. In mm-hmm. Yeah, no doubt. And on that topic, um, which I'll leave all over the place when you get the plants. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That is something that I've really been examining in myself. As you, you know how it is, you try to decolonize your mind. You try to decolonize everything. Mm. It's like one thread and you start pulling at it and suddenly there's mm-hmm. just this mass that you're like not prepared for but one of the things that i'm working on on myself is decolonizing the way i think about food and food systems mm-hmm. that's something i'm really passionate about 
um, but ginseng being a native species. Mm -hmm. And you would not believe how many things we take for granted as necessary and important that are absolutely brought over by colonizers. Honeybees. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to hear that they're mm -hmm. not a native species. They are not a native species. Mm -hmm. Earthworms, a lot of them. There oh, are yeah. native earthworms, yeah. but yeah, there's there a is. lot. Most mm -hmm. of the ones we see in the garden were brought here by yeah, colonizers. Red worms. Yeah, and it's just, and then the food systems that depend on honeybees now mm -hmm. because we destroy any ability to interface with the native foods mm -hmm. here. And um, that's something I'm really interested in. So it's like Australia and the cane toad, right? Like oh, Australia had a, yeah, yeah. I forgot what the problem was, but they're like, let's get a few toads and it'll take care of it. Now, now they, this now big this up. Up. Those those big, yeah. Yeah. well, these were these toads. Are, I, I, I remember showing a video. Yeah. Like, you saw it. I'm like, yeah, yes. probably so. Like the cane toads <laughs> in they're, Australia. They're incredibly and it was, tough. They're huge. And yeah. poisonous. And poisonous. So yeah. they're not useful. I mean, yeah. you know, they're awesome. You know, I, 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 cool. Fun, fun fact: I own a toad, actually, named Rosa. <laughs> uh, true story. Great. But but oh, you know, she, they're, they're, she's poisonous too. But you have to you'd have to be trying to eat her. Okay. Like, <laughs> I hold her. She's fine. Uh, she told me. But uh, <laughs> no, like that, that's that's what we do though. It's a similar thing. We go like, let's solve this problem, and we don't think it through. And right. the king toads end up taking over. What was it? The it was yeah. the king toad was brought in to. to was it, was it right? It was some. I Why was thinking it was an insect. Oh, okay, oh, I, I was insect. going with insect. That seems I think it was an insect. I think you're right. And then and that they was thought amazing. they would just eat these insects. And, and, it, and it ate the insects and started and eating rabbits. And like everything else. Mice. Mm -hmm. And you. Oh, birds. Birds. And then, yeah, birds. And people would like, they were, there was a certain time of the day they would hop out and, and go hunting. they would just run over with yeah. the car. You could just hear them. It oh. just barely makes a difference. But then yeah. they started um, using them as pets. Yeah, encouraging it. And even yeah. though oh, it's still it they're it poisoned. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. had little glands back here that yeah. I think right here. people would use them to get high. Sure. They oh, would yeah. they would lick sure. the glands. There's in the back. some <laughs> and they, they're it's from South America, shovel. so the, the tribes would do that. They were yeah. from yeah. South America. Yeah, because it's a psychedelic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's all fast. I think well, people will start moving toward better understanding <laughs> what we have in our own area yeah. and went to harvest and use that. Mm -hmm. And Southern Appalachia is one of the most biodiverse regions oh, yeah. yes, anywhere. And so we have such a wonderful opportunity here to decolonize our food systems, if not structurally, because yeah. I don't see that happening anytime soon. But on an individual level, we have so many opportunities and we have groups that teach people how to cultivate some of these species mm -hmm. like ginseng and golden seal and the cohoshes right. and mm -hmm. you know and they grow in forest systems so you know you probably see them out when yeah. you're hiking yeah. and whatnot but there's also um you know there's ways that we can incorporate even hybridized foods that maybe pay homage to or pay attention to um black and native contributions mm -hmm. because um like and it's this is such a small thing but like i grew some buena mulattoes that horace pippin who he's known as a black folk mm -hmm. artist mm -hmm. he's a famous black folk artist but he he developed these different kinds of peppers fish pepper and i don't remember all mm -hmm. of them but it's fascinating and i grew some some of his um, Buena Mulattoes in my garden as a way to help myself yeah. just notice, to just notice, to bring in these foods and to learn about people who contributed to these systems and these foods and the, why was it important and how did this get preserved? And like, it's a touchstone for me every time I'm in the garden mm -hmm. to remember mm -hmm. and to say that that person mattered and their contributions mattered and how can I notice that right and it shows another level of history that just gets left over oh completely. all the way down I, to horticulture and gardening um, you yes know I mean? I, I it's just ignorance that can't ignorance is one thing stupidity is voluntarily so like like now <laughs> right, sharing on social, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like we can learn you can learn you know now. if we imagine we were talking about earlier the social media if you just took a little time like away from like netflix or like facebook or instagram or whatever and like did something outside mm -hmm. positive outside mm -hmm. just one thing just one thing or whatever yeah. and then spread that so well, like and like, yeah, it. like what you were just saying there, I'm thinking in my head right now. I've never heard of that man. Right. I've mm -hmm. never heard of that fruit. That that pepper. And it's a beautiful pepper. Then let's let's, let's educate. Them. Right. You know. Yeah. So then you talk about social media, and I'm like, 
that's a perfect opportunity to take a post on social media and do you just did just talk about this is the guy this is what he did yeah. this mm -hmm. is his these are his peppers recipes yeah. and I have seeds if you want to get some oh my god I mean, yes because I would grow those I'm not a fan of the pepper but I would grow that <laughs> okay, yeah. these are because. like you would just grow them just not just only for the, paying homage mm. to him and this history that has been neglected like you said yeah. but also like some of these peppers even if you don't want to eat them they're beautiful, beautiful. it's a yeah. purple pepper that's just, oh wow it's beautiful just to enjoy i, I think your body. people i have a friend on facebook and she is from africa she posts stuff all mm. the time of these dishes lord help she has videos of it cooking in the pot oh, and i'm like i want that mm -hmm. recipe yeah. or i'll tell her when are you having a lesson but she oh God, she yeah. is starting to grow <laughs> plants that are native to africa i love it. in her own backyard yeah yeah, yeah. I think people would, I, I think with the price of food going up, oh, with just goodness. where we yes. are in society today, this is something that people will, will honor mm -hmm. and welcome in just because of where we are in our, in our world. You know what that yeah. is, too? I, I, as you were talking, I thought, and forgive me for keeping I know, you call me Michelle. Oh, <laughs> 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 all fast. <laughs> Gosh, I remember one time you got so bad at me. Like, oh, here we go. We, 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 used, to, so we used to figure out what, because the teachers thought y'all were slick. Y'all had the um, different color uh, oh, hall pass. And it was only like four colors. I'm sitting here going like, I can. Let me just keep one of each. And we would sell them. Me and oh, my God. Say so we come in late. I remember one time you had it. Like we, and I wasn't a bad student, but we, we come in from gym late. Like. I remember Miss Trees looked me up and down like. Like I was her own son. She looked at me like, and the, she was doing something on a video. And she's always so cool. She could like do the video behind her, <laughs> like that. I didn't and, uh, see it. I, I can't see. Little thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at that time, was still, oh, I have respect. Oh, yeah. It wasn't being disrespect. I wasn't trying to. You're just young and silly. Apart from me. And I remember she looked me up and down. She didn't say a word. And you were dressed I, down. I knew. Like, you were like, hey, Ooh. man, my mistress like me. She, you know, because she was. Miss Trees was dope. She'd be in the hallway going like, what up? You know, <laughs> I love it. It wasn't just all about just looking down or teaching acts. It was teaching mm -hmm. with and assisting. Exactly. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, felt, I felt bad. You won't remember that, but I... You know, I don't remember that one bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I but love I hearing you. We used to sell them for like a dollar. You do anything for a fruitopia. Oh, know? yes. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, yes. uh, but no, like, I, I, I was thinking about the, um, the stuff, you know, um, uh, like touching on back in the day, like people encouraging you uh, adults even say get out of here right mm -hmm. of course my peer group was like yeah like there's like a mass exodus to be now, now it's funny they're all coming back uh mm -hmm. and now they're seeing i'm doing something like you know yeah but uh, yeah because I, I stay it used to be a penalty if you stay mm -hmm. right you feel like you're just like dang man and i end up moving in a house that was an eyesight of science hill so i was like i really went far <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Was, but then but but what they didn't know was like yeah. a mad scientist in that in the room behind me I had hundreds of pieces of art. Mm. They had no idea it was just waiting, right? And uh, I'm not sure why I got on that, but I, I'm just talking about like lost history. Um, there's there's all kinds of stuff like you peel back these layers now, and people are uh, people are starting to be more invested in like what happened here, mm -hmm. you know, insert right. wherever here is. Yeah. Um, and that goes along. That's why I brought it up. Is, is, is now people are like there wasn't a boomtown clothing company that said like we love Johnson City coming oh, up right you know what I mean like it yeah. was the quite opposite there's exodus to uh the, the, the states were South Carolina uh uh it was uh uh Colorado and I think New York or whatever maybe mm -hmm. Florida too like people all my my age group was like get out of here right. and guess what now they got four two three area codes now <laughs> they came back. Well, yeah. And I think it's, great. It's, it's not a support, but I think it's a reason. And Johnson City, and I hope it's changing, but I think Johnson City in the past has been known to not really offer anything for young people here. True. Mm -hmm. right. You know, with, with job opportunities, those jobs are taken. Yeah. So yeah. if you yeah. go to school, you get ETSU, but what are you going to do after? What's after? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a lot yeah. of people. It's a small take yeah. a problem, too. It because, is. Yeah. Um, you know, in Fairbanks, Alaska, where I'm from, it was definitely like, and, and I needed to get out. Yeah. I did. Uh, I don't thrive in a lot of dark and cold. Mm -hmm. I need a four seas, a temp, you know, mm -hmm. or a climate. I need to garden. I need to be outside a lot. And I don't enjoy winter sports the way that <laughs> some of my other family members do. Yeah. Um, so, and it's very isolated, mm -hmm. but it's a similar problem. And 
And I love seeing my classmates who stayed and did mm, great things yeah, and proved sure. us wrong. You know? and, and, and I think Johnson City should encourage that. Yeah. Because I remember when I met you as an adult in art, you were so fired up oh my gosh. about, I want it here. This is me trying to be calm. And thank goodness you wanted it here. Yes. And oh, I was, oh, yeah. I oh, love yeah. that. We oh, desperately yeah. need people. Oh, well, I got, listen, I, I became, uh, uh, I feel, a, a, a decent appreciator. Being a wallflower all my life, you 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 know, like the water's wet, oh, way far away. The water's hot over there. I'm I'm over here. I know you're that, watching that, it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was watching, and I'm still watching. I don't care. I don't care to say it on camera and record it. I st- I'm the same no matter what. And, and then a smart person changes their mind too if it's necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. But um, but I uh, I got tired of uh, Johnson City to, to, to throw in every uh, other city if, if they think bigger bigger ideas is treating art right mm-hmm. only. That made sense. Yeah, I like remember. All, all this this big project is us doing art, mm. right? I'm sitting here going like, man, do you understand how many talented people that I chain smoke with? This is yeah. back in the day. I'm healthy now. <laughs> but, but like, we have all these dreams and aspirations, yeah. and, and we just whipped out a canvas and made something that can mm-hmm. go in Reese Museum, which, by the way, I'm now a coll- in the collection of Sammy Nicely. How dope that. is that? I love that. I had, that. To, I had to throw that in because I, 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 that's me containing myself. Did you ever meet him? No, we we met our public. No, I'm technically yes as project as a kid. Like I remember him coming in. He had the yeah. sweet voice. And the, I remember him being little, but not not as an adult. He yeah. died in uh, I think 14 or 15, mm-hmm. and that's so when I was coming that. out with yeah. heart. Brings tears so to my eyes. I knew that. We would be, I, I, and and the thing about it is they they talk about he and I in the same sense sometimes. And I, I don't know if I can handle it. They go, you remind me, of, and I'm like, man, like I'm doing something right. You've got to feel some level of yeah. communication. Oh, my gosh. Because but... you and I, I remember having some pretty intense conversations, like, years and years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And about the mural issue and just things where we were like, oh, yeah, and it why? Wasn't, it, and now it, it's just suddenly, like, yeah, and it wasn't, to me it's open. Well, now they're catching up to me. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, when, when <laughs> I met <laughs> you, I was either, I think I was either just getting on John City Community. It's exactly right. You're exactly right. The year before that, I went through JC 101 and we riding around all over town looking at how Johnson City's ran. We go by Love It's Heart, the mural that's by the Alehouse. And the oh, guy yeah. was in the middle of yeah, doing right. that. Yeah. And yeah. I asked the guy in charge of this whole 601, mm-hmm. 60, the 101 thing. Mm-hmm. You know, who is it? He's he's proudly saying this guy is from out of town. He names the mm-hmm. name and place. And I say, why don't we use local art? Like, why are we always going out of town? And he goes, it's our committee. If you want to make a change, get on that committee. Mm-hmm. And by crackies, I was on that committee mm-hmm. the That's next right. year. Mm-hmm. And and that was when I, I remember yeah. you saying, yeah. we're right here. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. are right wow. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do want art and now, from outside. Oh, yeah, because that's sure. that not, not saying like out of But town not as a way know. to disregard all yes. the, like you said, there's so much amazing. Not when we're right waving. Here. Not yeah. when we're waving. We weren't waving. Not yeah. all artists can. We're jumping up and down. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Right here, yeah. Like, yeah, right. Yes. Like, not all artists are like me. I understand that. Right. And, and I, I feel right. like, again, I'm now confident. So I say things like that. I only live one life. I'm not that confident that we're resurrecting. I can do this again. Right. So why would I not? I know my talent, but I also know I want to get better. I'm not right. one of these Instagram things that think they're mm-hmm. this and they're yeah. finite, right? I'm sitting here going like, I can get better, but I'm dope right now. Yeah, that's right. And also give me my flowers where I can smell them. I'm tired of talking about Sammy when he's just gone. Right. Yeah. I'm tired of being thought of like mm-hmm. after the fact. After the fact. And I'm yeah. not, our generation says, oh, we ain't doing that no more. Yeah, I got thirty years in this stuff and twelve uh, in the public realm with right. my art, yeah, and it's yeah. now and finally now. I mean, I'm I'm pulled, I, I'm pulled left and right all the time, but I ask for it. And, yeah. and I, I think, ask for it, I and I come through. You yeah. have started both of you guys because your work is out there in the world. No mm-hmm. doubt. But I think that this is the beginning of a trend that's going to say. We have artists right yeah, here. Yeah, it's a renaissance. Yeah. I feel it. We have yeah. them right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't exactly. have to go to Greenville, South exactly. Carolina. We don't have to go to Asheville. We don't right. have to go to any of the. We can go right and there. And not just the artists. My God, the filmmakers, the musicians. Mm-hmm. I mean, are you kidding? Mm-hmm. I can point to oh, yeah. the ones that have, like, the world's paying attention now. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's more of them here that are still undiscovered. Sure. We mm-hmm. produce amazing, amazing yeah. talent in yeah. these mountains. And this is where Johnson City. Tri Cities yes. needs to change. Yeah. Well, can, just, and just, we need all just people be to just acknowledge, recognize. Acknowledge. Yeah, that the guy who came from New York isn't necessarily 
I mean, they might be great, right. but you don't disregard our yeah, yeah. Jason Flack right. and be right like, now. oh, this person's from right. New York. So yeah. I'm cool. You well, know I, what I mean? I, I like, understand what photo ops are, but I'm, I've stayed here and I'm, I've got roots here. So all that is, is starting the blender is what gave me confidence to so finally not only, because I didn't want to come out with two paintings. I, next time you saw right. me, I come out with 20. Now you know my time is spent well. You cannot you cannot disregard me. Mm-hmm. I did, I, but I I had a I survived about three eras of art here. And notice I said I survived three eras. One I'm think, living in, two are gone. But you're saying survival, uh, being prolific helps with that survival. Really, really times. coming to two things: coming out of desperation. Yeah. And then not knowing any better, as my granddaddy would say. <laughs> <laughs> don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Like I, sometimes I, that's really helpful. Sometimes, <laughs> right? Like it's just like a puppy or something. I just don't know any better. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's keep things, going. Do cute I things, have right? said that so many times. Like I've been doing makeup for 21 years and I have been self employed for 11. And I swear, it, a huge piece of that is just like, I didn't know better. I, yeah. just, I just did. Well, and I just, okay. I'm too dumb to stop. I'm, I'm going to give all <laughs> y'all all night. Okay. <laughs> have you, when you watch a kid draw, do they ever erase? Not mm-hmm. until someone makes some rude. Some, some adults. Yeah. Some yeah. Balls, some yeah. Weekend, right? this. They don't have that, that See, focus. I think of this stuff. Yeah. I want to feel like that. Yeah. And I also want to give to my community. So I'm only trying to give here. Notice I, I'm not taking from anything. Right. But that's what I was pleading with. And when, right, right at the time we re-meet as adults and peers now, mm-hmm. you, you're, you're, that was where I, was, I wasn't harnessed yet. Not, notice I didn't say boxed up, but I wasn't like guided yet. I wasn't mm-hmm. confident even yet, but I knew I had, I had it. Yeah, because I'm no scrub, it's a, and, and God bless the scrub too, because that's an underdog. But I'm saying I, I've been lo- like the lowest you can get. I was homeless, watched a friend go to prison, and my sister died in one year. Mm-hmm. Not because I didn't have f- parents; they, they would have fed me like a baby bird in their basement. They would have carved out any little thing mm-hmm. for for Jason to be okay. I didn't need Jason to be okay from somebody else. I need to be okay, right. and I'm big on that. And I was like, I'll I'll sleep in a car. I'll I'll hop on. Friends that I used to help out, now they're helping me out. That's cool. That's what go, you know, yeah. What they call it, what goes around comes what around. Goes around. Yeah. Pay it forward. That's how, I'm glad I had friends that did that. And they moved here. My sister passed, I had friends move here. Wow. Because that's how much she meant. Yeah. Then you go, like, man, I'll I'll never, I'll never have that pull again until I make something of myself. That's me saying that. Like, I want to matter. I'm so tired of not mattering. I mean, that's what I'm saying to myself. Yeah. But that urge and that burn just but out of, always there. Yeah, out of merit, though. I'm not, there's substance. I don't want anybody to think there's not something just because uh, I'll just zip up. I'll, I'll bounce. Yeah. But if, if I feel it uh, and it's a belief and it's actually, you see the little eyes, the paint, when I paint with kids, I paint with people, like, ah, honey, I can't paint a stick, uh, stick figure. I'm like, I've seen stick, stick figures in Chicago sell for $900. Yeah. And, I'm, and, I'm, that's a great I'm, and all I'm trying to do is just, yeah. is just give. That's all. That's all I've ever done. And see, I'm, now I'm, just, I'm, I'm getting off the chain now. <laughs> that, that's, well, I, we I, like I, you off the chain. All my heroes, uh, <laughs> you look at them, they, they were quiet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, I don't no, I won't say that part. I'll say that private. <laughs> but but I, I know that they, I'll, I'll say this. I don't care because <laughs> I've had committee members, I'll say this, call me crazy and call me the complainer. Yeah. But Recent. Have, but but what has happened? Well, they put comma doer. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> mm. yeah. mm-hmm. you and so what? I, I grew up. You know? I grew up in these. I grew up in apartments where white kids used to ask me if that was my real mother. I grew up with them asking if I if I defecate white. I grew up with them asking me uh, all kinds of show me this and show me that. I grew up with a racist man named Cecil lived on the corner and a home invasion that made us move these apartments. So there's nothing somebody can say. Mm-hmm. That's, and that's all, I even said all that stuff public yeah. before, but that's what happens when I, see now the embers are hot. So <laughs> that stuff I've dealt with. So like when I look at society and they're just like itching and waiting to be offended, I'm like, whoa, mm. like guys. There are you, bigger you, things. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, like I know the tiger left the village, but we need sometimes a villain, sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes we need to shift like this. I do this, you know, when you're uncomfortable, you go like this, you get better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and I can't I can't be for something I feel is is going down a road to censorship. Mm. I think we do it for, with a smile because of feelings because feelings hurt when they're hurt. Yeah, we're emotional. But, but then we go, I don't like this because I'm hurt. And then they and believe me, there's some things and people and whatever that need to go away. Right. Yeah. But I'm talking about when it, when I start seeing it line up and it's taking away art, I go, Ooh, whoa, 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 mm. whoa, 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 whoa. I can't, I can't be a fan of that. I, well, we can agree to disagree and we're not going to come to blows, but I can let you know, like, 
because I, I want to be more daring in my work now. I'm at, a, I'm at a level where I want to reveal stuff to people more. I want to take on all kinds of stuff. I want to uh, have all kinds of emotions come out when you see my work. And that's just, that's progression. That's progression to me. Exactly. Art's my religion. The art exactly. and the artists have always been the ones to be sort of a mirror sure. to mm-hmm. society, yeah. mm-hmm. to um, affect change, to say things that are... Mm-hmm. Not um, things we say out loud a lot of the time. I mean, even back in the day when, you know, the Christian church was commissioning art, those artists subverted from within. There's mm-hmm. all sorts of messages in their art that sure. were subverting oh, yeah. what they oh, were yeah. being told to do. Oh, yeah. So art has always been at the precipice of change right. and um, progress. Well, and that's interesting because in studying like some of the history of education and stuff, how the tone has changed if someone's like oh I'm interested in art at a young age mm-hmm. okay but what do you really want to do mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. what you know this push towards the starving artist the starving artist oh how are gosh. you going to live yeah, and no so appreciation yeah, because I sometimes want to chase also... capture and choke out the starving artist trope I mm-hmm. I'm with you mm-hmm. all because it, that goes against <laughs> uh, me standing up in John City and getting called these names and whatever and I, I just want to treat all of all my friends all my artists like like uh, like they, they deserve their their trading mm-hmm. card. They should see the action on the front and then should be able to turn it and go like, look what this person did raising a garden, family, car problems, right. this traveling, this and that, uh, a cigarette, coffee, and uh, some cold lasagna for dinner. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you should be able to see the bio is what I'm trying to say. It's, <laughs> it's and, and, and John City ignoring that, it's just, that's, well, you can't ignore it now. Mm-hmm. You can't ignore it now. You, they were able to, but now the, the hottest thing to do is put art on brick. Yeah. And that's okay. Murals that's perfect everywhere but yeah. to, and that and i'm not against that it sounds like it but i'm not i'm actually for it because joe and jane drive by and they go pick up their kids they go swerving some drive through but they can see it I, mean, I get asked all the time did you do that uh mural there on that i'm like no no no, i didn't do that one but here's where you can i don't i'm tired of doing murals and i'm, a, I'm in a good spot to do you know you know how much uh uh hours and uh hustle it takes to do a mural oh my god yeah a lot of work mm. right? i watched one go up by um University. Oh, that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've seen you posting about. It. Yeah. Oh, the Beautiful. one in the yeah. library, also the children's. I have the children's. Yes, that, that one. That. Yeah. And she was in oh, there oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Working on yeah. that. A lot of yeah. work. They're hustling. And oh. again, I've always had to make it clear I'm not against nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If people really listen to me, they understand. If you get a little clip of me, you might see this dude just firing. I'm not. I've never been against it because I know. I, I think. That's why I believe now I'm on a level, me personally, I'm on a level of thinking like diverse of the mind. Because all this diversity stuff is like, I've been that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about society, I'm talking about me. Like, I, I don't know any better, as my granddad would say again, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of it forward, like, the more public sees art, the more they probably will be a fan or uh, interested in it. Right. And then if your name, like, like how strong word of mouth is here... I didn't do the one there, but they might go, but you, I know you yeah, can become yeah. fans. They have a healthy alignment with you, mm-hmm. become people that collect your words. Yeah, right. They yeah. keep wanting to, hey, you got Ren's number? You have Jay Flack's number? Is that his name? I, don't know. Is, yeah. I think I yeah. saw him. That's dope. Yeah. That's, but that's, that's yeah. this right now, right now, it can, it can last 15 minutes and that can be 15 years, right? I hope it's longer. Um, but now, and they know it, uh, everybody that sits around in tables talking about are, are catching up to those that do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, and I, I feel and I, I want, feel that way. I want more young folks, like high school age and middle school age no artists. No doubt. Yeah. No, your your bio. What's on the back mm, of your I, of your card? Right. <laughs> because they're going to connect with that. No doubt. Yeah. These little kids who think there's no way I'm going to art school. It's Brilliant. so expensive. Brilliant. 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 When, yeah. when, when you say uh, yeah. it's this often dismissed thing, it's almost and, and quite frankly, in my area, contemporary art, modern art, whatever, self taught, you were laughed at. What yeah, do you right. got to say? Yeah. And then sometimes for my own people, when I do certain art, they go, hey, you know, black dude don't want to see that. Mm-hmm. You sure? Wow. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Wow. You speak for all one people. That's a heavy load. That's a heavy load. That's buddy. a heavy load because I just speak for me. I never speak for no group unless they go, hey, speak for me. Right. And I got you. <laughs> but I don't, I don't sit there. I mean, I, yeah. that's my recent double cross. And that's, I'm not going to get into that right mm-hmm. now, but. I, I, I used to look up and listen to Bob Marley. I used to feel like, man, and I don't need somebody to look like me to, uh, I hear representation. I don't need nobody to look like me to rep, be represented. I had to do it all my life. I, re- I love Luke Skywalker. Do you know why I like Luke Skywalker? Because he was a f- fraternal twin. Mm, mm-hmm. So is me. Mm. 
<laughs> right? So I didn't have them have heroes look like me. I just, I wanted to look like something like in their world, mm-hmm. right? Make that little connection. That's a deep connection, right? Start Star Wars tattoos. Yeah. There's a reason yeah. why that story's deep. And I'm a nerd to me, out, you know. To me. Same I thing. I will say, I'm mm-hmm. thrilled to see the franchises really expanding their borders and yeah. like the Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Series. Like, yeah. But it's great. Like, but like uh, bring it. <laughs> but like, I, I just like if you're talking about the, like the bio, right? Like, um, and I mentioned it first, but you're you're talking about kids seeing. Um, mm-hmm. Going back on what I said earlier too is like approachable artists, um, because again, you start it starts becoming a who's who, mm-hmm. and a collection of these of these tangible people. My little sisters, they don't they don't understand their brother actually cringes and and I can't stand this. Uh, not from them, but if someone, if an adult told me this, but they think I'm famous. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. They, they see me in paper, and, do, and they'll probably see this, and they think like he's famous. They go to school, and they go, Jason, my brother. You know, they're 12, 12 yeah. and eight, 12 and ten, thirteen, and almost in ten. And I had to trade one sister to get two. That's the little mm-hmm. eyes, right? You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So I hope they understand that not just not just for them, y'all's kids too, right? Right. But like I, I do this with the, with a heavy heart and a heavy uh, load on my back, not not because of society tells me that, and because I put that on me. I'm like I can be there, I can be there on Tuesday, I can do this on Wednesday, or whatever. Yeah. Thursday. Um, because I I really do believe the I believe the movement, and that's just that's just art making public mm-hmm. is worth it. Because yeah. again, you got you got the Sammy Nicely's, and you got the some some of the passerbys that come in here and they touch down, make money, never be, there's no mm. meet and greet. Right. You're really right. What you're the nugget of what I hear you saying is about community. Just touch me. Just I'll touch you. And yeah. I'm not in a weird way. You get what you get. Feel me is what I should say, right? Like I'm being seen. I'm, I'm from here. What city? Yeah. What would Bristol do if they said we don't acknowledge country music? It's a yeah, right. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Right. right? Yeah. Like what Memphis, the blues, you know what I'm saying? Like some uh, New York, New Jersey, Philly, yeah. basketball or whatever like mm-hmm. what would you do what would you what would it look like if a city said we don't want to acknowledge what happens if i make the next logo and i say where i'm from yeah places in well john seal go please put me in your t- in your tag yeah sure yeah you get what i'm saying yeah, and I, sure. I will absolutely mention it i mentioned yeah. it here yeah for sure and that, I, love, that's I, think, all I'm saying. I think there is a shift with self-employed small businesses mm-hmm. artists being paid what they're worth and what they deserve as opposed to yeah locals being gimme 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 yeah, yeah. oh you're just yeah. down the road yeah. what can you give me can right. i have this gift certificate Boy, for this? Was a, was yeah, motivator, yeah. Like, um you, you wouldn't supposed to be working from home but there's a <laughs> yeah you can work from home now yeah yeah, yeah. funny but, yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean we've seen just a huge cultural shift that way yeah. we and, have and like some of it's yeah. two minutes do y'all oh, have any God, 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 started. i know oh, yeah so <laughs> it, they did that to me yesterday in the podcast. I'm saying I'm going, I could be here all day. We're gonna I know lunch. we're going to have to bite you guys back. So how can they catch up with you? Oh my gosh, I don't even know uh, what's up now. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, gosh, the 25th, um, I, something with the t- leader leadership Tennessee or Tennessee leadership at Bristol Motor Speedway. Actually, uh, got to display some heart there. The 30th, many many worlds. It's a show at Elder Brew in Bristol. Mm-hmm. Um, on the ele- or, excuse me, on the 8th of October. Um, I am uh, in Bristol and Bloom Fest, and then the 11th of October, I speak at Virginia Community College, Highlands Community College. Mm-hmm. Um, I just got done uh, recording back-to-back-to-back podcast episodes, if you could imagine, uh, with me uh, mm-hmm. at uh, Emory & Henry yesterday. Oh, uh, just became an official uh, Sammy Nicely collection at the Reese Museum uh, member, alumni, uh, a, ch- a school that chewed me up, spit me out, now, now I'm in there permanently. Uh, and uh, what else? That's and hopefully, an erotic show sometime soon. But we're not supposed to say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the going to add an appointment. Uh, right. the we'll talk now. Yeah. The cameras are off. <laughs> so, Rin, what's up with you next? I am just trying to survive. Honestly, <laughs> I don't have as many exciting things, as Jason. But um, share with our group what you do. Um, so, makeup artistry. My focus. I do um, weddings and events. And commercial and film work are my main things. Short film, music video, commercial, because I like living in a small town. Mm-hmm. As it turns out, and everybody says, oh, you need to come to Atlanta. You need to come to Atlanta. You need to go to LA. But you know what? That's feature film and TV series. And you're gone for weeks mm-hmm. and months at a time. Mm-hmm. And yes, you get more prestige with that work. Um, that's, you know, held up like this. 
uh, commercial work pays my bills. I'll take it. You know, I just want to stay booked. I want to do work I enjoy. I want to work with people I enjoy. And right now I'm doing that. And post, well, we're not post pandemic, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Come back to to a little regular rhythm, whatever that is. And I'm body painting again. I love, 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 love your body paint. It's amazing. Have you ever seen your body paint? I shut that part of me down so much during the peak of COVID Mm. because who knew when it was going to be safe or how to approach that. And I really shut down the artist side a lot and just kind of kept my head down and just worked. And now I'm back to like, I feel like I'm blossoming outward again in the sense of like hibernation. Yeah. It's a little dormant. It was so much dormancy. We talked about the pandemic and I remember you saying Yeah, I interviewed him during the pandemic. That that was one thing (laughs) that helped keep me sane. (laughs) <laughs> was like interviewing artists and kind of yeah. trying oh, to give nice. them a platform yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. to be like, here's what they're doing, here's how they're coping see, with the See why I say I don't do it alone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean it. People, they know I'm real. I'll give you props. Like, can you reach out? Let's, let's talk. Yeah. Let's do this. And absolutely. And it was such a great conversation. And I had, I had local artists yeah. and I had people from Germany, <laughs> from England, yeah. from artists that are part of my community all over that yeah. have inspired me, that have. I just pick people yeah. that really inspired me in some way. And so where can we went? If yeah. viewers wanted to see your interviews with local artists, where could we find you them? You know what? I need to dig those out and figure out if I, because I got rid of the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I got rid of the, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if by getting rid of my Zoom Pro account, if I can still access those or not, but I will find out. And I'll, I have my episode if you just want to watch that one. <laughs> okay, you go. I'll see. I see uh, stuff. You never know, my brain might scramble one day. I mean, what, what's the end game? You know, nursing home? So I got to keep this stuff, man. I worry about these things. I do, man. I'm a member of the senior center now, so we shouldn't joke about this. <laughs> Listen, uh, okay. I mean, no. <laughs> if you're a part of it, you got to collect it. Nobody else is going to do right. it. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, I just, uh, facesbyren.com is my place. Okay. And yeah. I'm just trying to work and stay booked. And I get to make people happy. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I know. I've I seen that. your work uh, with folks downtown Jonesboro. I can't remember what the event was, but. You know, some, it was it was probably I think the storytelling. Oh yeah, the ghosties. Yeah, the ghost faces. Oh, they're so yeah. oh my god! We're doing it but, again this year. So if you guess. are anywhere around storytelling festival in downtown Jonesboro on Friday or Saturday evening, leading around five thirty up to when ghost stories start, you might see some mm. creepy, yeah, fancy, very creepy, walking very down. creepy. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Fun. Guys, this has been wow. fantastic. I know we're gonna have to invite yeah. you guys back. For sure. Oh, yeah, we've got to invite you guys back. Warm. I think it's warm. Yeah, I know. They like yeah. it. Yeah. This is oh, of this is that passion. <laughs> of this is that passion that I think drives yeah. so many wonderful things. Yeah. 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 And thank you for being passionate for speaking out because I think you've opened so many doors for oh, but, nah, for so thank, much. You the, know? Thank you for saying that too. But thank you really, um, because I'd really just be talking to walls. So thank <laughs> you for listening. Thank everybody for for uh not tolerance, but listening. Um, because I, I did use the yellow wall. <laughs> <laughs> the canvases and floors and everything else. Like, now you paint on them. But, yep. And now I can paint. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but no, I I, uh, I don't feel alone anymore. And um, and that takes work too. Um, every day. Uh, mm-hmm. That's a short. That's a sword that's, that gets taken care of, polished, sharpened. You know, just ready. I'm not swinging it. Yeah, just, just ready. That's, that's right. all I'm saying. And yeah. then, um, it's a great way to look at. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's not it's not all gloom or nothing. I'm I, I'm. I've done a, uh, excuse my language, a damn good job, uh, you know, uh, turning things and going, let's, let's, let's put wheels under it, mm-hmm. some motion behind it. Right. Uh, I've got a lot of that in my family, depression and, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, sadness that the, the lightning strike, uh, and the ground separating when my sister passed and, uh, you don't recover from that time just thickens things, uh, callous mm-hmm. and I can still feel a splinter from, you know, wherever I go. You know what I mean? Just thinking. Right. You know it's there, it's but there. It's, it's there. You still you got a grip. Carry on. grip yeah. you know, and people right. always say, like, oh, you're so strong, or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, actually, I didn't have a choice. Yeah. And, uh, and again, that, uh, people have, they come from a, a, the same, the same people will say, honey, are you going to move to New York? And you're in the wrong town with that art. They, they say that same stuff. They just don't. You still get that, huh? Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm up with oh. people. Not, not, and when I say I'm something, I never, I don't mean that nobody else is. Mm-hmm. Right. I, but I'm, I'm still, I'm still grassroots. I'm still down. You know what yeah. I mean? I can be like these, 
we said the word prestige. I'm there too. And I'm getting quizzed on like these learned artists now. They're going like, what color theory class? I'm like going mm. uh, Saturday morning cartoons yeah. or, <laughs> you know, and, and fruit yes. pebbles or whatever. Right. And, and uh, but but I'm I'm up there swinging with them. Mm-hmm. So but then I go down where I'm where I'm from and I get those questions like uh, or those uh, uh, people insist where they say, uh, honey, you need to go to New York. I'm like, go disappear with hundreds of thousands right. of artists. So I guess we right. both hear the same. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can be here. We could be instrumentalists and musicians and body painters and uh, yeah. even spoken word artists and poets, visual artists and tap dancers, and, and everybody will say the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just you know, wow. then you got Amethyst, and Amethyst is like, look what I can do. But yeah, music mm-hmm. has a different support though. Yeah, music has a different. Mm-hmm. You're right. You can still you can draw yeah, a crowd, and that's not knocking her. I just painted her. I, I'm I'm in love with her. We've met. Oh, we know wow. each other. Yeah. But um. But 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 she knows that too. She's mm-hmm. her, and again, she's in a room. I say the same stuff. Right. Music can gather crowds. And right? and I think, and I know yeah. we do have to close this off. But you're right about the music part because because mm-hmm. Friday night I can go to Jones Bowl, sit down yeah. and listen to music no for two hours. No but it can I go to place and sit down way. and look at art for two hours right. in that same right. manner? Right. And I think maybe that needs to be something to think about. Yeah. Well, and that's what you're doing. Music so powerful on the, right. because it is that public yeah. connecting point. Yeah. You know, and, and it finding, has a finding a way. I mean, I'm just thinking out in my head, but. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sky said we can do it at the McKinney Center. There you go. But have a, you know, some body <laughs> art people coming through. Yeah. That's why body paint's so powerful. A, a because backdrop. We're, we're interested in each other. Exactly. The drum. You know, maybe exactly. the, you know, just something like that, the guitar or whatever. And, and like you said, have dancers with her art. Yeah. Oh, that's the beauty you know of emotion. Oh, yeah. All of it is that, yeah, you can bring Listen, in all these. Forms. Next summer, music on the square is going to be art on the square. Yeah. And it needs to have nice. background Sam art. Sam Love, we're coming well, for they, you. They we're coming well. for you, Sam Love. You know, I love you, man. Well, you know, Nobody wears a hat like Sam Love. It's, it's right. They go well, they just gather differently. Yes. But they go great together. Yes. You know what I mean? It's, it's well, it's, performance art overlaps with body paint, overlaps with music. Oh, but we, we're expensive a renaissance i do believe that yeah. and, and i'll die on that hill saying that because yeah. again you get all of me and i believe i do believe that i do believe that because the, there's too many of us now there's too the, the talent is getting noticed yeah. by universities and why would why would schools be talking to me when i was afraid to go to school right right mm. 16 17 18 years well, ago well once the floodgates are open you're not gonna show it, you can't put in. the toothpaste back in the tube <laughs> right? Right? yeah like you can't squeeze it back in the tube yeah. once it's out so, go back in the corner yeah so yeah. but, but it's, right. it's yay Stay on the artist too. I say get yeah. up and do it too because artists yeah. want to hide too. Keep I, pushing, keep moving. I, mean, I, I, I want to hide as well, but mm-hmm. I, it matters if I do something. Yeah. Awesome. Just like conversations that matter. Exactly. Well, and speaking <laughs> of, I am going to. <laughs> I am going to make a plug for the um, Y'all Don't Hear Me, the Black yeah. Appalachia, yeah. is that Slocum oh, and really Tipton Galleries yeah. through yeah. October yeah. 7th, right. I believe. And then Emoja Festival this Saturday. Yeah. There's a parade at 11 o'clock from Carver Rack to King's Common. Fourth annual ETSU Equity and Inclusion Conference is coming up September 26th. You can check out ETSU website for that one. Nikki Giovanni is going to be here Mm -hmm. on the 20th at 6 o'clock. Brown Hall ETSU campus, free, open to the public. She's retiring after this. Oh, wow. I believe she's last. being interviewed by Susan Lockman of Women on Air as well. Okay, wow. okay. okay. So there's so, there's so much going on this month. Check it out. Um, lots of programs at McKinneyCenter.com as well. Art reception tomorrow night for Nancy Jane Ernest. Yes. So thank we appreciate you all being here tonight. Thank you to our guests. Right. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> this is great. Do one more shot there. Say bye. Thank you. There they are. Say bye. 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 Thank you.